some lovely singing just now yes yes right into our opening hymn mr rhodes Rhodes. Yes. i'm sorry I'm 
or our hymn of praise is in number 15, my maker and my king. That's in number 15. My maker and my king, to thee my all I owe. Thy sovereign bounty is the spring whence all my blessings flow. Thy sovereign bounty is the spring whence all my blessings flow. The creature of thine hand. All the alone I live. My God, thy benefits be much more praise than I can give. My God, thy benefits be much more praise than I can give. Lord, what can I impart when all is done before? Thy love be my thanks and full of the give a last support. Thy love be my thanks and full of the give a last support. Oh, let thy grace inspire my soul with strength divine. Let every word and each desire and all thy days be thine. Let every word and each desire and all my days be thine. Amen. Thank you so much, Brother Rodin, for that lovely singing of that beautiful hymn. So now we'll turn to prayer. That is Brother Kelly will be doing the prayer for us, followed by RJ. So right after the prayer, we'll go to RJ with the palms. Good evening, everyone. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for another Sabbath. We thank you for the opportunity of worship. We ask for you to open our hearts as we engage in this evening's program. We pray that you send your Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with gratitude and praise, and that we may receive a blessing from this evening's AY program. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Loving the Lord Jesus, I promise to take an active part in the youth ministry of the church, doing what I can to help others and to finish the work of the gospel in all the world. The Adventist aim is. RJ, we're not hearing you. Oh, my mic was unmuted. Sorry. The AY pledge is, by the grace of God, I will be pure and kind and true. I'll keep the path and the law. I will be a servant of God. Wait. Gospel in all the world. The AYM is for is the advent message to all the world in my generation. The AY law the AY law is for me to keep the morning watch, do my honest part, care for my body, keep a level eye, be courteous and obedient. 
walk softly in the sanctuary. Keep a song in my heart. Go on, God errands. The A.Y. motto is, the love of Christ compels me. The A.Y. song is, Adventist youth are we for every land and sea. Together we play and in happy harmony. We have a faith to share with others everywhere. A message of God from God above to show the world we care. Adventist youth, Adventist youth. Adventist youth. <laughs> Beautiful. Where is my host, Colin? Wonderful to see young men. You know, the Bible says, I call upon you because you are strong. Strong and he indeed. He's strong, he's vibrant, and he's active. I must say something, strong. guys. Go ahead. Uh, I didn't know that RJ could sing so well, you know. I, I, I'm saying. <laughs> I think myself that it's not mommy him get that voice from, so it's most daddy. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> we go back, we go back, we go back. Okay, Colin. Yes, so we will now do the scripture reading. And it's really a beautiful scripture. Um, that's the last psalm in Psalms. Psalm 150. So what Jamisha and I will do, we'll be reading it alternately. You can follow along in your Bibles. On If you're on YouTube or on Facebook, you can just join in as well. So let's begin. It says, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty act. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise mm -hmm. him with the psalm tree and the harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, my people. Yes. Why? It's, it's, it's just amazing, you know, when we can come together and just praise God. And as was mentioned before, we'll be having an evening of praise to our maker. You, my viewers or viewers, will be showcasing your talent through psalms, songs, and testimonies. But we are not at that segment as yet. But to kick start that segment, we will be singing this lovely hymn for you. And I invite you all to sing along with us. We may not hear you, but I would love for you to participate because God is indeed here and he is listening. So the hymn is Rejoice, ye pure in heart. Rejoice, give thanks and sing. And that is hymn 27. We're going to sing it alternately and I'll start it all. So that is hymn 27, Rejoice Ye Pure in Heart. Rejoice ye pure in heart, rejoice, give thanks and sing. Your pastoral banner wave on high, the cross of Christ your King. Rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, give thanks and sing. With voices full and strong, as ocean surging brings, send forth the sturdy hymns of old, the songs of ancient days. Yes. Rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, give thanks, and sing. With all the angels' choirs, 
with all the saints of earth. Pour out the strains of joy and bliss, true rapture, no blessed mirth. Rejoice, 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 give thanks and sing. Yes, on through life's long path, still chanting as ye go. From youth to age, by night and day, in gladness and in woe. Rejoice, 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 give thanks and sing. Praise Him who reigns on high, the Lord who we adore, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, one God forevermore. Rejoice, 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 give thanks and sing. Amen, amen. Amen. Over amen. to you, Colin. Yes. You know, Jamisha, while you were singing that beautiful song, mm -hmm. uh, and it mentioned praise him who reigns on high. I just I just think about what it means to praise God. Mm. And man, it's just a beautiful thought because there's so many different ways because God has endured us with so many talents, talents. to use yes. to glorify him. It may not be us singing this song. Maybe it might be uh, someone else who's not gifted with the gift of singing, <laughs> but has yeah. some other use like preaching, speaking, motivating. And we have to use all our talents to give God glory and praise. And, you know, I had I looked up, Jamisha, I looked up this thing, and I want you to answer it for me. If you know the answer, you can tell. <laughs> okay. So the Bible, right? Uh -huh. The Bible mentions the word praise a lot of times. Can you guess how many times the word praise is mentioned in the Bible? I'm not even going to guess because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so talk to us. Tell us. All right. Well, I want to tell you, but I want to give the, the members, the congregation, okay. the online congregation, an opportunity. Right. Yeah, so okay, type know. in the chat if you know the answer. Right. Type in the chat if you know the answer to how many times the word praise is mentioned in the Bible. But while they're doing that, Janisha, right. um, there's another cool thing I looked up and I found about praise. Right. So praise, the word praise, as a, again, it's such a powerful word. But mm -hmm. did you know that there are eight Hebrew words for praise in the Bible? Right. Yes, there are eight Hebrew <laughs> words for praise. So I'm going to share one with you, and it blew my mind. So this one, hopefully we can get to all eight, but I'll give you one right now, right? Mm -hmm. Just to whet your appetite. The word hallelujah is another translation for praise, our Hebrew word for praise. And let's just okay. break it down into its two parts, hallel mm -hmm. and ja. So mm -hmm. hallel means to boast or to brag on. It means to make okay. a show, even mm -hmm. to the point of looking ridiculous. Mercy. <laughs> And then the word ja, as we all know, as Jamaicans, ja is used so many times. What does it mean? Yeah. It means God. <laughs> so if we put Hallel and Ja together, it means to be about God. Yes, to, to the point where it looks ridiculous. But I don't mm. know about you. I don't care what anybody wants to say. I will boast about God. I will praise him to the point where everyone else will think I look ridiculous. But yeah, look God ridiculous for God, God, of course. Amen. Amen. Look because ridiculous for God. man is, you know, wisdom to God. <laughs> indeed, indeed. And you say to, um, to praise God in fullness and sincerity of heart is as much a duty as is prayer. Right. It's so, as much a duty as is prayer. Yeah, and for that reason, we are to show the world and all mm -hmm. the human intelligence how we appreciate, you know, the incredible love of God for, for fallen humanity and that we are expecting abundant blessings from his infinite fullness. Hmm. Yes, indeed. And the Lord leaves us to make mention of his goodness and tell of his power. And, you know, as, as I mentioned that, um, 
I just reminisce on, you know, before, you know, I'm on internship for, for those who know. I'm on internship and upon arrivals here in Kingston, like it was a bit of a challenge to make the decision to come because, you know, it would have been more convenient to do my internship in Montego Bay, which is where I'm from for all the visitors, right? But I mean, concerns about, you know, financial um, constraints and all of that and you know the whole pandemic thing being close to your family and all of that but I don't know something was telling me to just you know Percy's like God will come through and he did come through like and I am rejoicing I'm praising him because he showed up for me so that's also how we can express ourselves in praise to him by giving thanks wow that's powerful thank you so much Jamisha for sharing that yeah. short but very important yeah. You know, God is honored by the expression of praise and thanksgiving that we give him. Right. Because whosoever offered praise glorifies me. And it Janisha, is. before we, we move on, I just want to mm -hmm. announce that someone has given the right answer. Look at that. Whoa. A Google. I wonder. <laughs> I hope that praise is going to use Google. Who is it? <laughs> All right, so Tristan said 560. He asked if it's him, but that's not the answer. That's not quite there, Tristan. <laughs> Sister, or I'm not sure, Sister Camille said 214 times. Is that the answer? 214. Jamie? It is indeed the answer. Wonderful. If we had a <laughs> gift to give you, we'd surely give you, but you know. Don't worry about that. We'll try to sort it out. The AY department will take care of that, I'm sure. I'm done. <laughs> And so at this time, we'll be going into another aspect of worship where we'll be doing our activities, right? Our creative activities, which will demonstrate other aspects of worshiping and praising God during these trying times, even as we make reference to the pandemic. I know many of us are really overwhelmed by what is happening, whether or not we should take the vaccine, whether or not we should leave, leave our homes to, you know, go to the market, take the taxi. Like many of us, we have anxiety attacks, like even listening to the news of the increase in the number of cases. But, you know, God is still here. And despite all that's happening, it was revealed in the Bible to us that we would have these challenging times. It is for us to find hope in God and to praise him despite of and that is exactly what we're going to do this evening we're just going to praise god and we're going to have fun while doing it so right into our segment i'm going to ask my host colin to take us through you know the instructions what we're going to do right wonderful so lovely people we are all here in this zoom meeting Mm -hmm. also person we'll forget those on youtube now i could not and forget we're not we're not leaving again so we have something planned <laughs> right you're all a part of the, the worship this afternoon so right. 34 of us are in this group but we're gonna have some activities of praise but mm -hmm. we're gonna be splitting up into four different groups mm -hmm. and each group will give, be given a psalm a psalm in the bible and they will make a presentation um after 10 minutes of preparation so if mm -hmm. you will be presenting you'll have 10 minutes to prepare upon one specific psalm in a certain manner of, of presentation so let mm -hmm. me go through the four different um ways that we will show for the activities of praise so mm -hmm. one group will do a dub of praise jamisha you want to give them an example of what a dub is <laughs> for the lord our god is good and his mercy is ever <laughs> that already. I'm sorry, that was on the spot. <laughs> that was a trial. But dub, right. you know, dub poem. I, I think everybody knows what dub poem is. You don't have to put me on the light like that, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> no one do that again. So, right. dub the dub of praise. There will be a group uh -huh. that will be doing dub of praise, and their psalm is Psalm 46. Psalm 46. So I want mm -hmm. you guys to just write that down just for now until we are you're put in the group. But you will know when you're placed in that group. Right. right. Um, so group next... one, group one for the technician, group one will have some 46. Double. And that group is double phrase. And then group two will be doing song of phrase. And that will be based on Psalm 107. 
specifically mm-hmm. verses 1 to 8. Okay. So don't pass verse 8. Verses 1 to 8 of Psalm uh-uh. 20, 107. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is yeah. quite interesting to me. Jamie. Yes. The third group will be doing an art of, of praise. praise. Do you have any artists, persons who can draw and present very well with their... I can't do that. I have two left hands, so. I can, well, I, can I can't. Do. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be in that group. <laughs> and they will be presenting. Well, we, we trust um, that somebody will, you know? Right. Everybody, everybody. Yeah, we, 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 we have it locked here. I believe oh. we have a lot of talents here. Oh, we are <laughs> judging. We're giving praise to God, right? So That's right. That will be based on Psalm 1, the first Psalm. Psalm 1 mm-hmm. will be doing art of praise. And then mm-hmm. finally, but definitely not least of all, yes. the fourth group will be doing an expression of praise. And that expression will be based on Psalm 121. And you might be wondering what is an expression of praise, right? So essentially an expression of praise is just you highlighting, one person will be highlighting or reciting why this Psalm, what this Psalm meant to them and explaining how it's, you know, been impact, impactful upon them or such forth. You're expressing that praise through Psalm 121. So and may I add to it, it's like a choral speech. Right. So, you know, like we read in the scripture with expression, it's basically that because every group will not just, you know, give us their their, their respective, you know, tasks, but you will tell us what you understand from that passage so you're going to discuss it well you probably don't have enough time to do that but get the don't put your motor the way you know the song of praise but be able to talk about it right and i'm sure everybody can do that so that's the least of the worries an expression of praise we the host that group is privileged to have us with them and other leaders will be throughout the other groups right and not just that jamisha the um the people on youtube and facebook who are not forgetting Right, YouTube, <laughs> Facebook, you're in our group, Expression of Praise. I'm going to have a lively discussion online. So while the others will be in their separate groups, you won't hear them discuss, but you will hear our group and our group discussions. And please, place your inputs in the chat because we will be reading it from time to time. And yeah, we're having a discussion. So that's one, group four. Right, and one more point of note. So in case you don't fully understand the Zoom platform, because it, it, it takes a while to get used to. <laughs> when we talk about going into separate groups, you know, we're online, so we can't walk over like what we do in church. And then <laughs> we're going to actually have what's called breakout rooms. So the host will split us into four separate groups, and you just click on the accept button for whichever um, link you're given, and you will mm-hmm. be a part of that group. And as I said earlier, you'll have 10 minutes to prepare the presentation. Then we'll all come back into this expression of praise, group, which is the main group. And then we will begin with expression of praise. So are there any questions from anyone based on the instructions we've given? Let me also check the YouTube platform to see. Yes, so double praise, Psalm 46, song of praise, Psalm 107, verses 1 to 8, art of praise, Psalm 1, and expression of praise, Psalm 121. It's just mm-hmm. that you will, you know, be creative and that it will bless you as you prepare because that's the purpose of this. Amen, indeed. So we do that at this very moment. So just accept the, that pop-up and that will be your group. So while that is happening, I don't see the click for my group. Right, so we're we're in this group. So the persons in expression of praise will not get a link. We'll just remain in this very group right here. Right. right. Okay. Just to just to reiterate, um, the invitations are going out, and we just want to you guys to accept it. So you should get a notification on your screen, and we're seeing that it, they're going out. Just please accept when you get them. Thank you. Um, there will be some persons without invitations. You're going to stay there with Jamisha and Colin and have a catawampus time. A catawampus time. <laughs> Indeed. All right, so I see people accepting invitations. 
I'm, I'm assuming that there will be about eight people per group because it's four different groups. So some people are still yet to accept the invitations. Okay. While we wait for those on the online platform who would automatically be in our group, I want you to type in the chat in the different chats. You know, um, what does praise means to you? And uh, perhaps you have a short testimony that you can share in the chat, and we can you know express it as we go along. But just to you know keep this going while we await for yes. confirmation that we are ready for our group's discussion. You know, um, as I said before, I wanted to mention at least one or two meanings for um, praise, Hebrew words of praise. I'll just drop another one for you to learn. So uh, another Hebrew word for praise is toda. I'm not sure if I pronounce that right, but I'll stick with it. Toda, it means to shout or to address with a loud voice. You know, but it even goes further. It includes an attitude of gratitude for God's promised mm -hmm. deliverance, even while we are still in need. So I don't know about you, Jamisha. I I have been through a lot. Of, I'm going through my fair share of struggles. But Toda, I can give God praise with a loud voice because I'm, I'm glad for what God has done for me. I'm glad for his blessing, even despite the struggles that I'm going through. And I know he's preparing something even better for me. Indeed, indeed. Let me look over to the platform to see if nobody is. I see, I, I, I forgive me if I pronounce, pronounce it wrong, but that is Louise Robinson, Marcia Smith, Angela Wright. You have been active in the chat and we want to hear from you. That is Robinson Smith Wright, right? And I'm sure others are watching and you know, you probably perhaps don't want to type, but please do type, even if you're in a group, well. It shouldn't be, but <laughs> right. Let's just let me see what's happening. Let me see what's happening. What does praise mean to you? Right. And while we're at it, Colin, I, I, I didn't want to put you on the spot, but you know, mm. we are the who could you share a testimony mm. um of or you know that is in line with our topic? Well, you know, um can give a short, hopefully it's short. Yes, let's try to make it short. So, you know, um, as a student preparing for school, mm -hmm. there, there um, are moments when there are things, I have to use my flash drive to put information on it, right? And um, I put all my notes and everything on it. So there was this particular Sunday, I remember getting up and I had this, I had my flash drive, which I put everything on, but, that morning, I just couldn't find it. I didn't see where it was. I used it the day before, and I just couldn't see it. So um, I decided to search down the house, sweep out the house, because my room didn't want to clean. So, <laughs> so I cleaned it, didn't find the, didn't find the um, flash drive. And I started to worry because I had an assignment due the next day, and I had another group project doing, and it just couldn't be found. And for some reason, I didn't back up my device. Um, note everybody who's a student, back up your devices. Right, see. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> But um, to cut the, the story short, um, I, I searched the whole, my room twice. I searched the entire house. The house was spotless. I still didn't find it. And then that evening, and you know, I decided to just say, you know, I'm I feel defeated, but I'm just going to um, have a little devotion. And I said, let me reach for my Bible. And lo and behold, my Bible was beneath one of my law books. So I took up, took up the law book in order to take up my Bible. The law book fell on the ground, and I heard a <laughs> sound. I was like, wait. <laughs> Book not sound like cook. <laughs> so I took out the book <laughs> while I was taking out the Bible, and uh, lo and behold, it was a flash drive that was so elusive. Right. And I just yeah. fell prostrate on the floor saying, God, you're so good. You're, I'm thanking you for everything. Oh. You're able to finish everything. So, what was your feeling at that moment? Were you, you know, doubtful that you would have found it? Or I don't know. You know, it's more about realizing yeah, that you need to trust or... God. Yes, in everything. Mm. Like he works it all out at in the end. You don't know because your vision is limited. But God mm -hmm. sees so far beyond that. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen indeed. I don't see anything on the online platform. I don't know if you're seeing anything. No, but I think but start I believe we are ready for our group, right? Yes. Where we're heading now. So let me check the participants for our group. I you know okay. So I believe we have. Brianna Golden, Denisha, Dwayne Roberts, Karen Tewell, Nicole 
Alice, uh, Prince, Samsung, who's Samsung? I don't know. Who's Samsung? Tristan Fenton. All right, we have quite a number of persons. And Ivan. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into Psalm 121 immediately because I don't think we have a lot of time. So Psalm 121, I hope everybody, I want you to interact, guys. So open your mics again, talk from here and then, and we're going to read. I want a volunteer to read Psalm 121, the entire Psalm. Well, let's just pray before we start, you know. Right, quickly. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I pray that you'll be with our minds and help us to present this wonderful song and that it will bless someone's heart. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. So I want to volunteer, don't let me call any names now, to read Psalm 121 for us. Anybody? Uh, let me go ahead. Okay. All right. I'm just flicking through my Bible. Give me a second. Anybody find it? <laughs> <laughs> not ready. Psalm 121, right? Right. All right, it says, before oh, acting up, sorry. Mercy. Anybody else? Karen Tilwell. Are you here? Hello. Me, or who? who's that? Let me see. Which one? So many, so many mics. We'll lift up. Is that Denisha? I yes. will. All right, so hold on, hold on, hold on, Fenton. So you and Denisha can do it alternately. So okay, Denisha no can problem. start, Fenton. Okay, I will go. Mm -hmm. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. All okay, right, so we're going to have, sorry, we're going to have Fenton now do five to eight. So you want right. to do five to eight, right. Thank, thank you Lord. very much, Fenton. Uh, the, Lord, the Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this psalm. So let me check again who's here. So we have, Colin, could you count the number of persons we have? We're going to involve everybody in our group. So what we're going to do when you're presenting, seeing that it's an expression, it's a choral speech, Everybody will take, we have eight, we have eight. We're going to step out, right? So we're going to have eight persons reading the psalm, you know, be expressive with it. So we can have, perhaps we have Denisha starting it. Then we have Fenton doing the second one. Um, Golden, are you here? I'm here. All right, so you'll do the third one. Then we, is, is Robert here? Robert? All right, so I'm not hearing anything from- Yeah, oh. man, we're in, we're in. All right, so you do four, you did the fourth one. The fifth one, no, Karen, tell where we'll do the fifth one. Karen, are you here? All right, Ellis, Nicole Ellis, can you do the fifth one? And make a note of this, guys, because I'm not remembering. I just call him. Right I am now. hearing. I am hearing. I'm hearing. All right, you. Sorry. So, all right. All right. So tell what we did the fifth one. Um. Um. Who? Who I just mentioned? Ellis. Ellis would have the six. And um, Chudian, you the seven. Who else? Who am I leaving mm. on? Ivy iPads. And Yvonne. So Ivy iPads. I don't know who you are. So you do the the, the second to last one. Uh, Eg. Oh, and E.G., right. You do, you, do, you do verse 7, and Aunt Yvonne, you do verse 8. And that's Sister Ibert, right? Verse 8. All right, so just make a note of that. So we're not going to practice it or anything of this story. It's just that you just express it how you want to express it, right? It's a choral speech. So just be ready after, you know, each person would have um, 
read their lines. So what we're going to do now to involve those online, I'm looking in the online chat and we are Remember seeing. Coming in. Yes. yes, Angela Wright says, praise for me, especially in song, smooth my mind and oh. make me feel happy. When I'm down, I love singing. I don't know if I can sing, but all I know, I love to sing and hear others sing. Amen, Angela. Oh. Big up yourself. <laughs> I am just like you. Enjoy that's, the that's good. Heaven's choir when you... <laughs> yes, go ahead. That's why your hunter has one. You can read it, Colin. It says, praise means a lot to me. Thanksgiving and praising God for being good to me. And grateful for his mercies and grace towards me. Mm-hmm. And in return, I feel that I can go through the day with peace of mind. Wow. Indeed. That is so beautiful. Well Worship over worries. Give God thanks for everything. Love that. That's Tasha K. Spence. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? So she says, praise is recognizing the goodness of God acknowledging it and expressing how grateful I am, whether through singing or words of thanksgiving. And then Unta adds, adds, <laughs> sorry, Unta adds to this. I will lift up my eyes onto the ears. Amen. I love this expression. For those here on the Zoom platform, I don't know if you have access on Facebook. I believe everybody's over here would take the benefit of the doubt for that one. But for those who are here, Right. Before we even go into what praise means to you, we're going to discuss or 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 Psalm, right? And that was Psalm 121. Uh what's your understanding of it? When when we would have gone back to you know the main group or when everybody come back, we would love for somebody to explain, like two persons to explain what the you know what we would have discussed here. So everybody can just open their mics. Feel free to discuss. Welcome, Eric Vassal. I don't know if it's junior or it's senior, but welcome. Right. So we're discussing Psalm right. 121. Jamisha, so you are ready for, for everybody to come in? Imagine. Everybody come back? Yes. <laughs> no? I'm yes. wondering if I can give them a, uh, uh, another five minutes to... to... Yes, yeah, no. give them. What time we have? Yes, give them. All right. Mm-hmm. Give me one second. So that's five minutes or seconds. Yeah, I'll 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 give a notification to everybody when we're back. Um, okay. and thanks for the cor- correction. Yes, a few minutes. So <laughs> we, we're gonna jump back into our groups, but this mm-hmm. time it's just to finalize um what we were you were discussing so as to prepare to present, right? And I realize that's the same place you were. Okay. Right. 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 Let's do this. Okay. So for my group members, we don't have much time. Um, right. We're explaining Psalm 121. Could somebody just quickly, um, you know, tell what it means to you? And also those in, on YouTube, Tasha Gay, yes, you're on YouTube and lots of your on top. You can send in your comments too. And Miss McPherson, right, mommy. Hi. <laughs> you can send your response as well. We're waiting for it. So anybody can just, I see Karen's mic open. We're not hearing clearly. She has gone by accident. Oh, okay. Well, you know, for me, Psalm 121 is that psalm I go to when I'm about to travel. I know my dad always asks me to read it whenever we go travel to Kingston, you know, because it talks about the Lord keeping us, you know, the Lord's mm-hmm. right hand being our shade. And that just mm-hmm. makes me feel so protected and loved by God that he looks out for me. So that's what Psalm 20, 121 means to me. Okay. I'm going to put and to even on the spot. Tell us what you understand from the text, the passage. Good evening. Welcome me. I can say, you know, there's a question. Do you have breath? Then praise the Lord. Praise him in the car. We praise him at home. Praise him while at work. As long as we draw breath, we are 
to praise the Lord. And praise humbles us. Praise mm -hmm. magnifies God. Praise reveals our devotion to God. Praise mm -hmm. motivates us to holy living. Praise oh. increases joy. Let oh. everything we have breath praise the Lord. I love that. I absolutely love that. I and I'm going to repeat that because I need to write down those notes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anybody else? Let me check my, my, my YouTube. Yeah. If you can go ahead, someone was saying, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I was just saying that, they, you know, they're right. Okay. Pardon? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I was saying the writer of this psalm, you know, he really knew what he was talking about when he said that he will lift up his, his eye to, to the hills because he knew the God that he served. He knew whatever, you know, whatever circumstance he was going through that God will will be with him. Mm -hmm. he, he speaks about these things. He speaks about the sun shall not strike thee by day. God is so encompassing with his love that whatever comes your way, he will protect you. He will guide you. He will provide for you. So mm -hmm. no matter what you're going through, he will just be there for you. And 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 it, it's, 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 it assures us of his love for us. It assures mm -hmm. us of his protective power. You understand? And, you know, it's one of those power-packed Psalms, you know, when even when preachers are preaching and, and they reference to this, people get excited, you know, because it's one of those things to get excited about God. Thank the very fact that He is indeed our help. I see who oh, I see here now. Um, I must say, yes, I must have that it's one, um, it's one of those deep powerful psalm and i will just mm -hmm. add to what tristan fenton said it's very deep it's very powerful the author acknowledges god mm -hmm. it's not just any other lord he, he the one that made heaven and earth you know we have other gods but he he, he was on point he was specific he acknowledged that he is he made heaven and he made earth which mm -hmm. other god can actually do that mm-hmm than our Lord, our Savior. And, you know, and he goes back down at verse 6, that the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night, and he shall preserve thy soul. Who else can preserve our soul? I mean, Mercy. this is beautiful. This is strong words, and I really, mm -hmm. really, really love it. Yes, and it is our source of comfort, too. Like, even if we fail at, you know, recognizing that God is really there helping us because of how, you know, deep we are in our situations like saying this text is a reminder and can help us to remember that god is indeed there for us right i see then i don't hear from roberts pastor roberts and family i need to hear from you well while he is opening his mic i see oh mrs white so she said for me it means we are not to worry for God will always be with us. We will always, he will always be there to help us in whatever situation we may find ourselves. Amen. And that's coming from Mrs. White. Amen. Powerful reflection right there. Mm -hmm. And I still, I see GC. I don't know who GC is, but GC, could you tell us what you understand from Psalm 121? I will lift up my eyes up. Um, up to the hills, and when's come my help? That, that. I must, um, I must share a little, a short little story. No problem. I, I was at a hotel once, and I met this young lady. She's from India, and mm -hmm. she, you know we were talking about God, and he was, she was telling me that her God is a is a man that lives in the in the in the in the in the province. She said that the thing is that when one guru dies, another he passes on that godship to another guru. And I asked her one question. I asked her if that guru made the sea and she couldn't, under, she couldn't answer me. And I, so I tell her, why, did, why do you call her call the, the guru God when the person doesn't even make the sea? Nice. And, and they actually believe, I, I, I was so surprised to know that person would really call another man God, you know? It happens, it's all a part of sin, you know? 
So it is indeed for us to share, right? You'll find yourself in certain situations and certain circles with persons of different mindsets that are contrary to the Bible. That is when we, you know, share what we know to them and help them understand who God is and who he wants us to be. Like it will be difficult, you know, to kind of like sometimes convert like persons to classify as atheists, but still share with them. You never know. The, the Holy Spirit is always there working and it's for us to do our part and for God to do his part. Uh, and so at this point, we're wrapping up. Um, I know I know my group is ready. I know the people remember their <laughs> verses to express. Yes. And everyone else will be joining in now. So we're welcoming back everybody else. And uh, they can be a part of this wonderful discussion. Right. And guys, you can say it any way you want to say it. If you want to say it, Patwa. If you want to say I can start it up for you and just say Psalms 121 and then let it go to me. I understand. <laughs> we're having fun. So don't I don't want I don't want anybody reading because we're all expressive beings. As in when I say reading, I don't mean like a story, but you know, we want it to be as expressive as expressive as possible because you have others coming with their dopes and the songs and all of that and the arts and all of that so we have to come good and nice right all right so i don't remember the names but i know that we have Taylor participating we have um yvonne participating we have and the rest <laughs> i don't remember i don't remember they will really, really remember and uh, right according uh, on you guys no yes. nothing no no as so, one person finished, you have to start. All mm -hmm. right. So the people are returning. I I do believe um ours is I won't say the easiest, but the, the least that we have to commit to memory. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we can present first. And I would love for the dub of praise to go next. Mm -hmm. That would be very interesting. And then we will go the to art. the art. I think the art is a bit. May take a little while to draw. I don't know if the artist is putting on the finishing touches. <laughs> I like that first to go last. Oh, so you're trying to say that you're giving them extra time. Nobody have extra time. No, no. I think everybody's back. Right. Welcome back, everybody. We're, ex Oops. We're excited. <laughs> We're excited to hear from you. I, I keep checking YouTube. YouTube, just have fun now. <laughs> All right. Over to you, Colin. Yes, so as I was saying, I'm not sure if everyone heard me just now because some of us were still coming back. So we're going to begin our presentations with the main group presenting. That is that's expression right. of that's praise. Group. Yes, that's our group. Followed are by... You ready? Are you ready? Yes. Are you... <laughs> followed by the dub of praise. Or some of... Oh, sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> or some of praise is some... 121. Verse 1 reads. And I think there's some technical difficulties. Yeah, technical issues. Technical issues. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, I was just saying, let me just give them the format before they begin, all right? So the format, the first presenter will be us, as you see, expression of phrase, followed by dub of phrase, Psalm 46. Followed by a song of praise, Psalm 107, verses 1 to 8. And then last but not least, and I really hope that's a very good um, drawing that we'll get, <laughs> Art of Praise, based on Psalm 1. So our group, Expression of Praise, I'm sure you already know. We do Psalm 121. Go ahead with the intro, Janisha. Group, make sure you're ready this time, you know. All yeah. right. We can't flop. Psalm 121, and it reads. First one. And it's coming. It's coming. Oh, it. <laughs> I will so, my, so my group having some technical difficulties. We move on to group two. I think we can take the dub right now. Yep. All right. Uh, I, think, I think you should have studied who your group members were so you could actually call a new. <laughs> we tried, you know, we tried. We have to bear with us. We, ha we have to be, you know, juggling between YouTube and Facebook and England and Portmore. Yes. All right. So, 
So next group. So we have group two with dub. What group is coming up next after the dub? Please be ready. I'm going to, to call somebody. The song is after dub. Okay. Yeah. okay, I think it's um I'm the first one to go. Which group is this? Group wait. Psalm 121. Is it me? All right. So we're going to start. I think our group is ready. Sorry for the delay. You know? Start for the delay. So we're coming again. Group one, be ready. And if you don't know, just open your mic and say. All right? Right. So, Psalm 121. And it reads, verse one. Over to you then. I will lift up mine eyes to the ill. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, the Lord which made heaven and earth. He to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber nor sleep. Chosen thing, him were careful we now go make Israel sleep, start to hold him down. For him, yeah, them keep wide open. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall not slumber nor sleep. Robbers did forge just now. A chosen thing. In my careful, we now go make Israel sleep start to hold him down. For him, yeah, them keep wide open. Verse, Verse four. four. The Lord is my keeper, the Lord is my shade upon my right hand. Verse 6. Take it away, Karen. Come, Jamisha, let's finish it, please. <laughs> <laughs> the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Sister Ivan as, as the last one, I believe. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen, amen. <laughs> this is a part of the plan. We love it. We love it. Yes. Best of the best. All right. So I remember my group members and I'm just going to call randomly. I'm going to ask the Roberts to just tell what you understand from Psalm 121. Let the viewers understand you know what we discussed and yeah and anybody else from the group can add open your mics and talk stop being shy now <laughs> all right um we our um gadget on its own it's not working so properly so we have to be switching headphones so when my wife is hearing i'm not hearing all right, so most of what was said, I would have missed it. But um, Psalm 121 is a very, um, it's one of my favorite, one of my favorite, especially the last verse. And um, that's a verse I take comfort in, especially when I am out on the busy thoroughfare, trusting that God will preserve me in my going out and in my coming in. And every time I go out and I come in, 
and just got to give God thanks that that part of the text is really um, a reality in my life. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Is Auntie Yvonne here? Sister Avery? Well, in the interest of time, <laughs> we're going to move on to the next group. And, you know, put yourself on the back or group. Right, we'll become stronger next time. Next time we'll I, think they're, I think they have been some challenges, man. We have right. to understand. Blame it on the internet. <laughs> so the next group, and I'm sure they are very ready right now. Dub right. of Paris. Let's make them welcome. Come to. Okay, so our group is doing Psalm 46. All right. After three, one, two, three. Well, there is Justin. I'm very present help in show. I'm not hearing. Unmute your mic. Not hearing. All right, we'll start again. Start, start, RJ. How is that? I'm coming. We were coming. Yeah, okay. You could just unmute the mic. Lord, Lord, Lord is there a rapid Johnston? I better present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fair, though the earth be removed. So the waters there uproar and be troubled. There is a river, the streams of shall make glad the city of God. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. The heel then rage, the kingdoms were removed. The Lord of hosts is with us. Come, behold the works of the Lord, what desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. Be still and know that I am God. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Selah. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. Put your hands together. Mercy. That was indeed good. <laughs> wonderful, right. wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> so you have anything to share? Just one line of what you understood from your passage. All right. So just um, we listen. External, we are, we search for impact. God is for strength. Or if we can hide, hide in, he helps us, even some of us view COVID as be sure that he will be present in this time. That's what we can do. God is with you. He will help us with all. Amen. Amen. So we move right into the next group. I believe that's the Song of Praise, right, Colin? It is indeed. Song of Praise. Right. Song of Praise. Of Donate. Those are the dogs that are part of the song. That's how you start a song. Just <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Harmony. <laughs> All right. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Thank you, 
gathered around the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary where there found no city to dwell. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation, oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Amen. Amen. No, right now, all right. So my YouTubers, I need you to send some fire emojis. I need you to send I need some fire emojis in the chat because this was excellent. Right. I am so happy. All right. So what person, one representative now can just share with us what you understand from your passage briefly. So here in Psalm 107 verses 1 through 8, the psalmist David is calling upon men, women, boy and girl to give thanks and praises unto the Lord for God is good. So give thanks unto the Lord for his goodness and his mercy, which endure to all men. And even in times of trouble, God's goodness is just flowing over mankind. Wonderful. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Group three, you know, song of praise. Thank you so much. Thank you. And to our last group, the artists. Carry on <laughs> the, the key. Artists. Let us see. Right, so we want to see your presentation now. We're excited. Yes. I hope my daddy's not in that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we reveal our drawing i will be reading the scripture from which our drawing will be demonstrated and it reads thus psalm one blessed are the man will walk not in the counsel of the ungodly nor turn up in the way a sinner nor sit down in the seat at the scornful but in the light in the law of the Lord, and in the law, he meditate every day and every night. And he shall be like the tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the char where the wind drive away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not turn up in the judgment, nor the sinner in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. Be to God. Amen. 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 Indeed. I'm still waiting the art. Is this the art that I'm seeing? Okay, so this is our art. Wow. Look at that. Okay. No so art. as we know, as Christians, we are always placed with choices in front of us, all right? So if you follow, follow this young man right here, taking, he has started the godly path. However, there are other paths that lead to destruction. Now, if he goes 
to the bar, there's destruction, okay? And if you should go get drunk, so having fun with friends, doing destruction. No, if he continues on the path of God, there are good things on this path. But hey, we wow, wow, wow. are sometimes, we stumble. Or we might see things that we're not supposed to take part of. And that's immor immorality, right? And that path leads to destruction. But he, if he continues amidst what is happening on the path of ungodliness, oh God. mm -mm. godliness, he will be like the tree planted by the rivers of water. Wow. I love this. In the end of this journey, if he could flourish spiritually, people focusing on the Lord, we want to take this path, this path to prosperity and flourishing in Christ Jesus. Amen. Mercy. Wow. You know, I, I am just overjoyed. I'm overwhelmed by all these talents. Mighty God, can you imagine when we go to heaven? Mercy. This is really good. And I'm sure that the Lord is indeed happy about this evening's program. We have joining us on the Zoom platform here, uh, Sister Brianna Golden from the Beth Sida SDA Church. And she is an AY leader. I just want to say a special welcome to you, madam. And we're happy to have you. Yes, Janisha, indeed. Um, I will, that needs to be framed, <laughs> sister. <Esme. laughs> right, right. That's such a powerful presentation. I, I will now have a deeper understanding of Psalm 1, which is my favorite psalm, to be honest. It's lovely. So mm -hmm. we'll just go right ahead, continue the program, and we just thank everybody for presenting so far. Um, I believe we have another message in the chat, Janisha, on YouTube. Uh, from my mother, sister, my person. <laughs> it says, yes. praise for me is expressing gratitude and admiration to God for his goodness and his mercy. We can give praise to God, praises to God through the songs, prayer, or talking about his goodness to others. Thank you so much for that. Mother, you always have the right words. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So, and we will do our little part. We will be reciting the hymn. 566 six. father we thank you you know in praise many times we find ourselves you know when we communicate to god it's really for receipt of something you know we want him to do something for us but we should always remember that it's not so much about receiving 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 but giving thanks even if we have not received what we wanted to receive you understand so this is just a hymn to say thank you it's an expression of praise and calling Yes, it begins. Father, we thank you for the light that shines all day. For the bright sky you have given most like your heaven. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for the lamps that lighten the way. For human skills, exploration of your creation. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for the friends who burn our play. For your command to call others sisters and brothers, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for your love in Jesus today, giving us hope for tomorrow through joy and sorrow. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We thank amen. you. Amen. Amen. And we go right into our next segment, right? Or praise report. And we have, we, we are privileged to have three praise reports this evening. And it's a form of testimony, we all know. And our first praise report will be coming from Sister Gayon Da Costa. And after we No, Sister Natalie Fenton. <laughs> right. Sister, right. Thank you for that one. Yes. Right. Sister Natalie Fenton. And then we have one from Brother Mikel, young Mikel. And we have one from Sister Queens de Clark. And we'll be favored with a song from the Northern Caribbean University student, Adrian Johnson. So be blessed. 
Are you going back or no? And talk. <laughs> So I'm not sure if Sister Fintan is having, you know, technical difficulties. Are you here, Sister Fintan? Sister Da Costa. Oh, it's Sister Da Costa. Right, Sister Da Costa. All right, Sister Da Costa, you can go ahead. Are you hearing me, guys? Yes, we are. Okay, good evening, everyone. Um, this evening, my testimony is about the goodness of God. You know, throughout this whole pandemic, you know, I've never um, went short of anything. I've never been hungry. I have never been in distress, regardless of what all the things that um, were going on around me. And, you know, God has provided. God has kept me. I've never been sick. And even if I, I was sick, it wasn't to any... Um, extent you know and I just want to thank God for all of that because many persons are not as fortunate as I am and I know that who could it be but God you know and I'm just saying that God did not made make the way and and so that he could not maintain the way for us he makes the way and he's maintaining it and he's keeping his promise to us you know and so in return we ought to be faithful and we ought to be obedient and we just keep on praying and trusting in him. And I just want to share this hymn with you. I will sing of Jesus, love, sing of him, who first loved me for me left, bright world above and died on Calvary, I will sing of Jesus' love and His praise. My heart shall give, He is thine, that I might live. I will sing His love to me, O oh, the dead. Of love divine earth forever can never know how that sea as dark as mine can be made as white as snow. I will sing of Jesus' love and as praise. My shall give he is the that I might live I will see his love to me nothing good or am I that have good such love be so Lord I owe my heart is I will sing of Jesus' love and as praise. My heart shall hear he is thine, that I might live. I will sing his love to me. Wonderful. Amen. Amen. While we're waiting for Mikhail to come, I just want to give two shout outs to two special persons that have celebrated their birthday. We have Auntie Merv and we have Auntie VK. We want to say happy birthday to you. And of course, we want to, we're want we giving thanks and we're giving praise. And of course, we are grateful for you two wonderful people. So we have Mikhail is here to give his praise report. And for anybody that has celebrated their birthday, happy birthday to you. 
Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My prayer report this evening is about when I was younger, I was very ill. Doctors thought I had tumors and I had to do a major surgery. Everyone prayed for me and their prayers were answered. Today, I thank God that I am a healthy, strong grown child as I have just celebrated my 10th birthday this week. And I say praise be to God. Amen. My praise, my praise song goes like this. Thanks, thanks. I, I give, give you thanks for all you have done. Oh, I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh, Lord, I give you thanks. Oh, Lord, I give you thanks. Thank you. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful praise reports from our two young individuals. We have Quincy Clark coming up next. All right, good evening, everyone. Um, my first support this evening is about the faithfulness of God. Um, when I started working last year, um, they scheduled me to work on Friday night. And I specifically said to them that, well, from the interview process, that I'm unable to work on Friday night and on Saturday due to religious um, beliefs. Um, they said it was okay, it shouldn't be a problem. However, um, I was still scheduled to work on Friday night. I sent many emails, I made many phone calls. Um, I was directed to the operations manager who is a Seventh-day Adventist. And she said that there's nothing they can do. I said, okay. And um, of course, I did not sign in to work on Friday night. Um, they usually call me 12, one o'clock in the morning and I would not answer. And um, to cut the long story short, so after a few months, um, the operations manager, she emailed me back and she said to me, they're changing my schedule. So I said, okay, when I check my schedule, now they scheduled me to work on Sabbath. And um, the cutoff time, I said to them that, look, I am only able to work on certain times on Fridays, and then after that time, you won't be seeing me on the system. And up until now, I haven't signed in on, on any Saturdays at all. I was switched, um, well, they switched my team they switched me from a team that I was initially on um, last month, no, sorry, the ending of February. And from then I wasn't assigned any team leader, any supervisor, anybody at all. When I needed help, there was nobody there. I would make several phone calls. I would send personal messages. I didn't get any response from anybody. So basically I was working on my own. Alisa would say to me, Queen, you know, she said, yeah, your own employer, I employ you. And basically that's exactly what it was. So for the month of March, I was on my own. I did my thing and then I was finally assigned a team leader last week. She called me and she said, okay, let's go through your stats for last month and everything to see whatever areas that you probably need to improve on that we can work on. So when she went through my stats, she said to me, hmm, last month, that's actually a best month. So I said, what are you saying to me? She said, yes. She said, last month you did extremely well. And even the previous month I did well, but last month I was basically on top. So I said, oh, I said, okay. And then we, after we had a conversation, I, after I came off the phone call, I stood at the window and tears came down my face. And I said to God, thank you. It was him, it, it could only be God, because in my mind, I didn't have any help. 
So I was basically on my own. I didn't think that I was doing that well. And for her to come and tell me that, all I could say was, thank you, God. Thank you. And, and I said to her that, look, I realized that I'm going to schedule for Sabbath. And on Friday night, I'm only going to come off the system by 5 o'clock. That's it. And um, she said, all right, we'll see what I can do. She called me last week. And she said to me, look, um, I was able to get your schedule shift. And now you have your Sabbath and Fridays off. And I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So my encouragement to the young people out there and even the older ones to stay faithful to God and he will definitely be faithful to you. Um, your story may not be like mine. Some of you may lose your jobs, actually. And I know of some who have actually lost their jobs because of the Sabbath and some who find it hard because of the Sabbath. But at the end of the day, he promises us that once we stay faithful to him, that there is a crown of righteousness waiting for us. And this week, I was meditating on a text, Revelation 2, verse 10. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. Be faithful even to the point of death. And I will give you life as your victor's crown. So as I close, I just want all of us to continue to stay on that Christian pathway, no matter what, we should always be faithful to him, no matter what the cost. And um, the song that came to mind as my praise song, "Tis so sweet to trust in mm. Jesus, just to take him at his word. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know the faith alone. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him. Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Thank you. Amen and amen. You know, that just warm, that just, I'm, I'm full, actually. Let me I, um, I just want to zoom into um, some of the comments on YouTube. Robinson said, Queen, he was really carrying you through at all the time. And the echo star is, when you stand for God, God will stand for you. Powerful testimony. Amen indeed. And I can agree to that. And Sister White adds as well, powerful testimony. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Over to you, Colleen. Yeah, I always say that um, Adventists are VIP employees because God just always works it out in a way whereby we not only either retain the job or we, we present a gospel truth to people by just mm -hmm. the life we live. And that, that's what happens when you stand for Christ. He will stand mm -hmm. for you. And the Bible says we are to serve God rather than mammon. You know, whatever the circumstances may be, it's just best to put God first and then he will lead the way with the rest of it. Just don't worry. Don't fret. Although in the situation, it's much harder not to fret than not. Yeah. But it's a peace which comes, which, is pa which passes all understanding. And I think that's what Queen we had. So I just want to thank um, Sister Da Costa for that praise report, for the first praise report, Brother Mikhail, for that wonderful praise report, and the Sister Queensley. For, for, all, for that third praise report. Amen, amen. And uh, to wrap this segment up to go into our Vespers, we just want to leave with you to perhaps not get some inspiration. And uh, Colin can share the first one. It's just a little reminder. Yeah. Um, no, I was just thinking that when, when we get tempted, you know, because we're always going to face the temptation. In this world, there will be trials. 
-hmm. instead of giving utterance to our feelings, which is the easiest thing to do, let us, you know, by faith, just lift up a song of thanksgiving to God that will soothe our hearts and that will help us to resist that temptation. Amen. And just a reminder, beloved friends, that God, he deserves our praise. He deserves our highest praise. So let us make a pledge to be more thankful to and to keep a song in our hearts. Now we'll turn over to Brother Andrew McPherson as he will unravel the Vespa thoughts for us this evening. But before he comes, we have a song by Adrian Johnson. Uh, Students of the Northern Caribbean University. Be blessed. Your eyes on the sparrow and your hand it comforts me. To the depths of my heart, may your mercy and strength be seen. You called me to your purpose as angels understand.
Amen. That was a wonderful song by the sister. And yes, it's me, everyone, Brother McPherson. Good to see you all. Okay, so we'll be doing the I'll be doing the vespers. And I just want to start with a prayer. All right, so just bow your heads with me for a second, for a few seconds. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Sabbath's blessings. And as the Sabbath is closing now, we just ask that you will put your words in my mouth and that you will speak through me, even just for the sharp vespers. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. I hope everything is working all right. All right, so today I just want to give you a short word of encouragement. It's from... Second Timothy chapter one and verse seven. That is where it will be coming from. And Second Timothy chapter one and verse seven. Now uh, the book of Timothy, it's it's really um, Paul writing a letter to a pastor, a young pastor named Timothy, giving him advice, and it's it's really like the pastor's handbook, or it should be. And he's just giving a lot of encouragement to Timothy. But there are also things in there that don't just apply to Timothy, but to Christians in general, including us. So the verse 7, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, For God has not, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Indeed. So that is the verse. Right. And two things I want to, sh well, there's a contrast here. So there's a two things verses on, on this verse, right? So you have the thing that God gave us and you have the things that we did not get from God. So God did not give us the spirit of fear. Instead, he gave us power, the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. Right. And the power of love and the sound mind we get from God. Now, the thing is that there are, in our world, with all the craziness happening, with all of the things that we're seeing in the news, with all of the discouraging and scary stuff that we're seeing, it's very easy to have a spirit of fear, to be afraid, to be terrified and scared about the things that are happening and even to come. Right, but we are not to, to be that way. And God is, I mean, there are bad things, even more bad things coming, because you know we, we know about the prophecies and all of that and persecution and things to come. But and and that with that fear, it can motivate us, stop us from doing what we need to do, and also get people, cause people to manipulate us, right? Instead of because we would be willing to do anything except face that terrifying thing that is before us. But that's not, even though that's normal, it's not what God has given us. That's not what we get from God. What we get from God is power, love, and our own mind, right? And that power, that that's strength, that's you know, that's the might to do what we need to do. Love. That's that's a love from God, that, you know, that agape love that. God has and I will know about in John 3 verse 16 right and then there's the sound mind right that's that's a whole mind that's a, a stable mind that's a not terrified mind you know so it, it gives you that clarity of mind and that calmness to do what needs to be done to make good judgment to have self-control those are the things that God gives us through Jesus right and if you don't see those things manifesting in your life just remember that those are what that's what we can get from God, right? And all we have to do is just ask God, pray, seek Him, right? Of course, these things are not naturally just given to us. So we have to get them from Jesus. We have to receive them from His Spirit, from being born again, from 
these are the things that are given to us as Christians, right? Not, not those of the world, but who are, are in Christ, right? And so we have to make that change of mind so that God, Jesus can change us from the inside out. You know, it's like you put a seed in, like you have a seed, right? And you plant that in the ground. The seed itself have the whole information to make the whole tree, right? It's just that it needs time to grow. So we get Jesus in us, right? That's the whole package right there. And it's just time we need it to grow and to manifest itself and to bear these things, the power and the love and the sound mind and the other things that God has for us. And with things, with the things that are coming on the world, we all need more of that, right? All need more of that love, that power and that sound mind. And I just encourage us to continue trusting in God. Don't be, don't be afraid. Don't have that spirit of fear, regardless of the things that you're seeing in the world and so forth. Just keep trusting Jesus. Make sure you hold on to Christ. And those are my two cents on that verse. Now, I want us to, for the song, I want us to turn to hymn number 49, right? I know we normally sing this like at the very end, but it, it's, it's a really interesting hymn, as I was realizing, reading through it. So it's hymn number 49, verse uh, stanza one and stanza four. We can sing the last, first and last stanza, right? That Savior breathe an evening blessing. Savior breathe an evening blessing. It reposes our spirit. See sin and watch. We come confessing. Thou canst save, and thou canst heal. Amen. Amen. Verse four, dancing <laughs> as well. Right. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just stanza for the final one. Should Should swift death this night or take us and all our thoughts become our May the morn of glory wake us, let it light and deathless bloom. Oh. Okay, and let us pray once more. Okay, Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for your love and your mercies and your spirit and, and Jesus Christ and all the things that you give us, Lord. And we know the devil is raging. We know the devil is doing his thing and he's trying to gather as many people as, as possible to go with him down into loss and destruction. But Lord, you have a plan of salvation. And Lord, you have given us Jesus. And he, and he is the author of the gospel, Lord. And we just ask, that you will continue to be with us, to bear us up, Lord, and that you will protect us from the plans of the devil. And Lord, help us to trust in you more because there are serious things coming and we need to be ready. So Lord, we just ask that you will continue to give us the faith and that none of us will fall away, Lord, but we'll be more firmly anchored in that solid foundation, that chief cornerstone that you have given to us, which is none other than Jesus Christ. And Lord, I just pray also that you will help those who are, that you're working on, whose hearts you're working on, Lord, to hurry up and accept Christ. And Lord, just continue to keep us and be with us throughout this week. I pray in Jesus' blessed name. Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Brother McPherson, for that lovely Vespa thought. Colin, are you here? Yes, I am still here, even though our okay. prayer time is now coming to an end. Right. I don't know about you, but I was truly blessed by this afternoon's program, this evening's program. I'm sure that everybody here um, are truly blessed as well. Uh, 
Lord was indeed in our presence and we give him thanks for that. We just want to thank you, our online worshippers, our online viewers from all the different platforms here on Zoom, uh, on YouTube, on Facebook, for tuning to our program, for tuning into our program this evening. So thank you very much. Have a good one. We turn over to, I think we turn over to Judy and T Jude Shudi Brightson. Right. Good night, good evening, everyone, and happy Sabbath. We have come to the end of another wonderful, awesome Sabbath evening. Isn't it such a wonderful experience to know that even though we're not able to gather physically, we are able to virtually meet and have a wonderful time together. And so we want to say a special thank you to all our hosts, um, Brother McPherson and Sister Barrett, who had taken us through um, such a wonderful AY program. To all of our praise reporters, Sister Da Costa, Sister Clark, and Brother Mikhail, we want to thank you all. And to Brother Tristan, of course, who was able to you know, lead us out into the, the evening segment. We want to thank you. And so we, um, we are truly grateful for all who had tuned in to be a part of this program. And we want to thank you all for joining us. And next week, we will be joining again, same time, same place in our homes. And just want to invite you all back to our social. I think we're having social tonight, I think at 7 or 8 p.m. I'm not sure, but the correct time will be announced or clarified in short order. So continue to trust God despite all that is happening around us. Let us continue to be faithful. Let us continue to trust him and he will carry us through. Have yourselves a wonderful evening and a wonderful week ahead. God bless. And for those on YouTube, the link for the social was sent. So you can tune in later.